Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you very much for coming back. Today, I have a special treat for you, so I really need you to watch the whole video, the whole story. I'm going to be taking you on a journey. The journey of how and what I'm doing in this big red box. What I do on a day-to-day -day and how I'm running this food trailer business. So if you're interested in that in any way, shape or form, or you want to macro my business, stay tuned and let's get right into it. My name is Chef Ling. I reside in Toronto, Canada, but home will always be Trinidad and Tobago. This has been a long time coming. I have only ever wanted to share my culture through my passion for food. I cannot wait for you to join me on this culinary adventure. Let me go! I've never really viewed myself as particularly talented. Where I excel is ridiculous, sickening work ethic. guys number one thing about running a food truck or food trailer business is always make sure you're ready for your next customer because you never know when they're gonna come it could be like five minutes could be ten minutes but either way always be ready because your customer is your number one importance oh speak the devil here it goes hey man what's up what's up chill man how you doing, how you doing? How you thing we had to make sure we make this food perfect because every single customer is the key to this business if you make that customer the perfect food in your eyes you can only do the best you can right but if you make the best food that you can cook for every single customer that's the key because they could either tell their friends and their friends friends that this is the best food they've ever had or the worst so let's make sure we put our 100% and make this food perfect let's go So, have you ever been to Morocco before? Yes, I have. And what do you think of the food? Excellent. What would you give Excellent. it out of 10? Out of 10, whoo! Actually, to be honest with you, I live around the corner from here, and the first day that I heard that they were gonna be in Scarborough was actually at Street Eats. So, I, the first day that they got to Street Eats, I was there, and then they moved around all over the city, and then I started to follow them from Street Eats. And then since then, I've been a loyal customer. There you go. Thank you. All right, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. All right. Thank you. and your kids to use as no excuse I'm gonna get through this was that a mental conversation you had that nobody could hear communication with, with our children is that pops is working hard this is the level of attention to detail you need to have in everything you do so it's, it's setting the example as parents you gotta lead by example if you want your kids to do whatever it is they want to accomplish in life you got to show them you gotta show them
Guys, thank you very much for staying until the end of this episode. If you're interested in opening a food truck or a food trailer, I hope this helped you in any way, shape or form. But to wrap this whole episode up, I want to tell you what happened yesterday night. I actually ran out of gas and was left in the dark. But always remember, it does not matter what happens, it's what you do when those things happen. For me, I got in there, darkness and all, turned my propane on, heated up the oil and made those orders perfectly anyways. So you know what? It does not matter what happens. It's what you do when that happens. That makes you, makes you or breaks you. So guys, thank you very much for watching this episode. And if you liked it, please subscribe. If you found any value in it, give it a thumbs up. If you did not like it, give it a thumbs down. Either way, interact with the video and subscribe. This will help me make more videos for you. Guys, see you next time, okay? Let's go.